Hello friends, welcome to Keyframes Online. I am Abhishek Inamdar. I am a technical director at Keyframes Animation Academy. Today we will see a seating uh, chair for a waiting room or lawn uh, where we can keep those chairs. So in, the, in this lecture we will see how to model it and how to texture it and how to render that model. So let's get started. I'll go to extended primitives and take chamfer box because comparatively uh, standard primitive box um, um, doesn't have that uh, feel it feature that's why I'm taking chamfer box press control on the keyboard it will have proper cube square shape leave control C it's retaining its shape so I'll just press control again drag don't leave the control click and this is the right click press F4 you will see the segments alt W for maximizing the viewport modify I'll increase the segments something like this I'll uh, height somewhat I can decrease like this now I'll add edit poly I'll select the edge I'll say loop right click go to chamfer it will increase one more edge you can increase if you want more edges but right now we want only one I'll say ok now again select this edge say loop right click chamfer ok now I want to select these edge small edges say ring press control on keyboard click on polygon you will get the selection of the polygon say right click say extrude say local normal so it will be behave in that direction local I'll say minus get a close look apply so I, it will have a segment over here say ok now add turbo smooth this is what we want creasing line I'll just stop the turbo smooth now select edge again click on the edges click on the edge and say ring again say again extrude oh sorry press control and click on polygon you will get the selection right click say extrude say till here say apply I want edge over here so as per your uh, uh, visibility you can um, see say ok on turbo smooth press F4 and see the fine it's going fine and you can place buttons over these corners so I'll go to standard say spear say auto grid like this auto grid off press R on keyboard for scaling like this you can place go to top
press shift track say instance press control to get multiple selection again press shift track Can I adjust it a little bit? Now, in cushions, we want more uh, bumpy effect on this this side. So I'm selecting again box of the Dargo Smooth. Press F4. Again, selection of pages 1 2 3 4 serving say chamfer sorry say connect <coughs> we want one edge I'll say ok now 1 2 say loop and say ring now Clicking on single segment like this. Click, I want single. Click, say ring. Now I'll say connect. Say OK. Now select the vertices. When select those vertices properly and track like this maybe it looking a bit weird but after applying smooth it look very nice Hello. Um, hello. This is a technical number. Yes. I'll take on left view. Go to splines. I'll take arc. Convert to a little spline. Go to spline outline. Mirror so copy. Now say attach six rule. This can be shifted left hand side, shift again this side. Now this is what we were expecting as a model. So now go to top view. I'll give a material to this cushion. Now, for material, we can give a normal material also, but now 
uh, I'll show you how to make uh, velvet velvet material in V-Ray. I'll go to material. I'll go on standard. V-Ray. Click on diffuse. Say bitmap. Cancel it. Click over here. You can take keep old material color correction out oh. say cut it I'll say bitmap and say directly take fall off because in bitmap you can uh, take uh, textures but now I don't want to uh, do the texture uh, in velvet only I want color in velvet that is red or something like that now here is a fall off I'll click over here I'll say color correction I can give it red Just ok red green and blue click on advance and contrast I will say point 0.7 same thing I can copy it over here now say 2 slightly dark shade or a bright shade you can give say a sign Select the spheres, press H. Again, material, say, with a material, take white, add reflectivity, and give this material to. Now I will take one plane for a studio lighting. Modify spline outline six extrude place the camera like this. Control C for camera. Go in lighting, V ray, take light on top like this. Just line it by 45 degrees or uh, 40 degrees like this. Go to modify, say maybe 10 or we will see how how things are happening. I'll say invisible. Go to render setup. Global switch is fine. DMC Mitchell Netravli exponential in color mapping. Say on light cache say medium show calculation phase light cache maybe something to 500 setting will be render region division 32 
now I'll just hit my render I'll just pause my video while doing the rendering this is what I got after the render so the only thing I'm missing is uh, the background uh, you can give the texture so I'll give the texture Go to modify and say UVW map. Now again I'll hit the render. I'll pause my video. This is what I got after the render. If you liked my tutorial, do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online if you have any comments what do you want a new tutorial from my side please do let me know on my comment box on the youtube channel uh, which tutorial you want so meet you in next tutorial have a nice day